On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring books to tax enhancements in Intuit ProConnect. Here's what to expect. You'll see the update in action, then hear from pro advisors Nia Carter-Gray and Matt Skinner. Hey, pro advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the scoop. We heard that tax accountants spend lots of their time requesting, collecting, and entering data. Prep for Taxes gives you time back by importing data directly from the books to the tax return. We've released Books to Tax Adjustments, which offers you the ability to reclassify, make tax adjustments, and apply and review. And now for the fast facts. These enhancements are available to any accountant with QuickBooks Online Accountant. To access it from within QBOA, go to the Accountant Tools, then Prep for Taxes, then Tax Mapping. This update has been live in the U.S. as of August of 2024. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. All right, let me introduce you to Tracy so you can see the product in action. Thanks, Jacqueline, for having me on the show. And I'm excited to walk you through our new features in ProConnect. So for prep for taxes, what we just implemented was called books to tax adjustments. So what we're hearing a lot is that accountants spend two thirds of their time just requesting, collecting, and just entering data. So we wanted to invest time in making sure that you don't have to invest time as much anymore. Uh, we're leaning into our connection with QBOA and an already existing feature called prep for taxes, which already reduces the time it takes to get those books out of QBOA and into ProConnect Tax. What we've added to that experience is a way for you to adjust any book item that might need to be reclassified for the sake of tax purposes or any true adjustments that might need to be made in the tax return compared to what's in your books. You'll be able to review this experience and then apply it directly into the tax return with a few clicks. Prep for taxes is where we start directly in QBOA. Here you'll be able to align uh, anything that came out of the books to what specific account or assets that they are tied to. Then you'll be able to make these adjustments from a tax mapping perspective and state like what form you'd like them to be connected to on the tax return itself. From prep for taxes, you drop into our books to tax adjustment. Here, you're able to see line by line exactly where these adjustments and lines from your original uh, prep experience into the tax return itself. So you can go by form and you can select which line each item should be against. And then the last portion of this flow, this is where you get to see all of the magic. You can review all of that adjustment that you just made against the actual tax return and where we're going to put the information in for you. If you have any additional adjustments you need to make, you can go back and make those adjustments as you see fit. So with the points that I just shared, we'll walk through the whole overview so that you can see how this all flows together. So what you'll see here is selecting prep for taxes and then selecting where you want this information to go and what form you want it to go into. You can select create new return and then it'll drop you into that adjustment experience I shared. Circle back. So once you're ready to make any adjustments from the information you pulled over from Prep for Taxes, you can make those line adjustments and save them to the specific line you'd like them to show up on. Once you've made the adjustments, you can add new adjustments as needed whether it's to an, a new account type, or if you just need to adjust the amounts themselves. So here you'll click save, and you can either download the entire adjustment experience, so this way you have it on hand if you ever need it. This information isn't gonna go back into the books, it's gonna go straight into the return once you select import. Once you select import, you'll be able to see all of the data directly in the tax return filled out for you. And you can review the end return and file that when you are ready. That's our walkthrough of ProConnect. Thanks for having me and hope to see you soon. Thank you for that demo, Tracy. We'll turn now to ProAdvisors Nayo and Matt for them to weigh in. Nayo, Matt, welcome. Hey. Hey, thanks for having us. Well, Nayo, let me kick off with you. 
Can you tell us why is this such a big deal? Big deal. It's a very, very, very big deal. And I know I get excited about all of these updates, but this is probably one of my absolute favorite ones um, because I am a Prep for Taxes user because we work with our clients all year, getting their books in order. And we spend all of this time making them pretty. And then we get over to the tax return and it takes us long time to enter this information correctly. But now we can auto import this data. And I mean, it like one slashes the time it takes to, for us to prepare a tax return in half. Two, we can also make adjustments um, that we may not necessarily want permanently in the books, but do impact the tax returns. So I love it because it's such a time saver. And when I'm working with my team, we can make those adjustments and everyone can see what's going on all at the same time. So there's lots and lots of transparency there too between the accounting and tax teams. How about for yourself, Matt? Was this well received at your firm? Was this a big deal or just a not so big deal? Uh, we're who, who isn't excited about tax journal entries? We are exceptionally excited about tax journal entries. You know, clients want their books how they want their books. Uh, sometimes they manage them themselves and they want it cash or they want it accrual or they want it gap or they want it IFRS or they want it some other goofy thing that maybe isn't exactly the way that we would keep them. Tax entries mean we don't have to export that data. We're not making it in Excel. We're not hand keying it back into LACERT or ProConnect online. In fact, we can make those tax entries even if somebody goes and goofs around in the books and changes something or alters something. Our journal entries are safe. Our import is safe. Otherwise, we was talking about doing all that work a second time every time the trial balance changes. So yeah, very excited. Very tax journal entry excited. <laughs> <laughs> and you mentioned something really good, Matt, about being able to uh, see those changes. We've had our clients go in the books and make a random change. And then we come in next year, the thing doesn't tie. We can see when they've made those adjustments on our end too. So it is also really great um, when we're preparing that tax return to kind of audit what has happened uh, since the last time we looked at it. So that was a great uh, reminder that that feature exists too. <laughs> so Nayo, it sounds like this is a huge time saver. Is that right? Absolutely. Literally, I will tell my team, let's spend more time making sure the books and the tax mapping is correct. And when we go to import, um, the beauty of this product is that it works across all of Intuit's uh, tax software lines. So we can import a tax return in our tax software in like five minutes, where it probably would have taken a data entry person 20, 30 minutes to an hour to, to enter in this data, depending on how experienced they are. So I am loving this new feature because we're making sure that the books tie before that that information ends up in the tax return. And it's really cutting down on that admin data entry time and leaving lots more room for review and actually having conversations with clients about what's happening in your tax situation. So it leaves room for those advisory moments uh, where we can upsell and make a little bit more money. Well, I'm so glad to hear that this new feature helps save you and your team time and ultimately allows you to provide better advisory services because you can focus on what matters. So Naya Matt, thank you so much for being on this episode of In the Know. Thanks, Jacqueline. Thanks for having us. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In the Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.